Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to use hemocytometer to count the cells and I'm also going to show you an example calculation where I will determine the number of viable cells in the given mixture of cell suspension. Okay, so let's first talk about the process of counting the cell. So to count the cells, first you collect your cells and after collecting the cells, you centrifuge them and after centrifugation, you will have supernatant and the cell pellet. You remove the supernatant and you resuspend cell pellet either with the PBS or with the cell culture media. I would recommend the media. And so after the resuspended mix, you will take 100 microliter and then you will add 100 microliter of tripan blue. Okay, so and in this mixture, we have 100 microliter of cell suspension and 100 microliter of tripan blue different protocols use different amount of tripan blue. You incubate for a while and then you load the sample to the hemocytometer. Okay, you load the sample to the hemocytometer and then analyze cell viability under a microscope. So when you observe under a microscope, you will see some bright cells which are live cells and some purple cells which are dead cells that are stained with the tripan blue. So when you observe under the microscope, what do you see? You see this kind of grid. So in this grid, basically, you are only going to count the cells that are present in these big squares that are present in the corner, okay? Only on these big four squares that are present in the corner. So you are not going to count the cells that are present here or here or outside these big squares. Okay, let's count how many cells are live and how many cells are dead within this square. Let's first count live cells. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six in this square, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So number of viable cells are 18, counted are 18. So number of dead cells, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So number of dead cells are counted are seven. Okay, so then what is the total number 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 of viable cells per ml? So to, to, to determine that, we have the formula, number of cells counted multiplied by 10,000, multiplied by dilution factor, divided by number of large square corner counted. Okay, so number of cells counted, we counted 18 and the 10,000, this is from the formula, and dilution factor is 2 because we use 100 microliter of the tripan blue, if you remember, and we used 100 microliter of the cell suspension. Okay, we had 100 microliter of cell suspension and added 100 microliter of the tripan blue. So basically, this is 1 to 2 dilution. And we divide this by 4 because this is the large number of square counted. So when we perform the calculation, we will have 90,000 cells. Okay, 90,000 cells. 90,000 cells per ml, okay? So 90,000 cells per ml. So uh, this is 90,000 cells per ml. So to determine the number of dead cells, so then we have the formula, how many dead cells we counted? We counted seven, so basically seven, that is multiplied by 10,000, and which is further multiplied by dilution factor of two, and large number of square counted, that is actually four. So when we perform the calculation, this number comes out to be 35,000, okay? So the number of dead cells is 35,000 cells. This is per ml, okay? This, name, this many number of cells per ml. So, okay, one more thing that I want to explain here. When, we, when you observe under the microscope and you figure out that the, there are a lot of cells and that are difficult to count, then you can dilute your original stock. Let's say that this is your original stock in the falcon tube then you can dilute it 1 to 10, okay? For example, you can dilute 1 to 10, take 100 microliter from here and add 900 microliter of the media. So just, sorry, 900. So in this, you have diluted mix and you follow the same process as we did before. So then what do you have to do to, to determine the number of cells per ml, number of viable cells per ml? You perform the calculations like this, putting dilution factor two, and finally, you multiply by the numbers, whatever the numbers you get, with 10, okay? Why? Because we, we did here 
1 to 10 dilution, right? 100 microliter of this mix and 900 microliter of the media. Thank you.